Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome back to more Let's Play the Mystical Ninja starring Gomon. Um, today we are going to um, go to the Festival Temple Castle. And I should probably just get started, because this enemy behind me is not going to stop firing at me, so... Let's get started. Now, the Festival Temple Castle. Um, I have to admit, I don't really like this castle that much. I mean, the design's pretty cool, but it's also pretty plain. It's not like the Ghost and Toys castle, where it's like, almost every room was unique in its own way. I mean, I guess you could say it's the same for this one too, but... I don't know, it just seems very plain to me, just in my opinion. I do love the music, though. I do love the music for this castle. It's a pretty sweet tune, if I have to say so myself. Okay, so in this room over here... We have these platforms, but we can't step on them because they are hot to the touch. We could try to, you know, risk it and try to get over there, but that really wouldn't be that fun. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the temple normally. Uh, to actually get cr across this room, you need the Kunai of Severe Cold, which you can actually find in this temple. It's uh, Sasuke's um, unique weapon, I guess you could say. And eh, maybe unique weapon is not the best way to put it, but it is his dungeon item, basically. But we'll get that later. Um, this castle is actually kind of a maze, if I have to say so myself. Uh, just because you have to do a lot of backtracking between one place to get to the other. Because as you can see right here, we have to go through another part of the castle before we can come back here. And then, to even go over in that area, all you get is a key that will actually get you through a door that you actually find on this side of the castle, so... Yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot of backtracking in this castle. Just FYI. That's why I don't really like the castle, because it's kind of confusing at first. I was even actually pretty confused when I was doing my practice file playthrough of this level. But, um, once I figured it out, it really wasn't that bad, so... I shouldn't have that much of an issue with this. We'll see anyways. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything over here in this way, but I'm going to go ahead and check. Okay, yeah, it's just the restore all health dumplings, so I probably didn't need to go get that. Oh, well. Oh, we also have a golden fortune doll over here, but we'll be getting that later. And I almost fell off into that hole, so I don't know why I did that. I guess I better start paying attention to what I'm doing. Uh, so, um, in recent news, since this game is kind of, you know, based in Japan, um, just very quickly I want to give my uh, support to those of you who were affected by the um, March 11th earthquake in Japan, also like a tsunami too. Like on March 11th there was like a huge, like, natural disaster that hit Japan, and a lot of people were affected, so... I'm just giving my support to all of you out there who might have been affected by that natural disaster. That really was a very, very terrible incident, I have to say. So yeah, I just thought I'd get that out of the way first. I probably would have, you know, given my support regardless if I was playing this game or not, but still. Just kind of appropriate that I was playing this game in particular while that happened. But anyways, over here, I believe we actually have a fortune doll. You can also get some Ryu, too, which is nice. But here we go, fortune doll. I believe during your first trip through the castle, you can actually get four fortune dolls. And it's kind of unique because I probably can't look at this. Okay, yeah, I can't look at it yet, so I can't show you. Um, I'll show you when I get the uh, uh, Mr. Elephant. But basically, this uh, dungeon is actually separated into four parts. A southern part, an eastern part, a western part, and a northern part. And uh, it's appropriate enough because um, each of the fortune dolls is in one specific area. So you'll find one in the north, one in the south, one in the east, and one in the west. Which I thought was pretty cool. Just in my opinion. And you know what? I probably actually just missed Mr. Elephant. I think he was in the room with the fortune doll, but... It's fine, I'll show it off later. 
I know this castle pretty well now, I have to say. In this room, uh, the, the staircase actually shifts based on what side you're standing on. So you have to use this to kind of manipulate yourself over to uh, one of the two sides. Don't think it matters which side you go to, but... This is what you have to do to get through this room. I believe we're also going to get another fortune doll here in a little bit. Okay, no, I went to the wrong side. Dang it. Oh well. Let's go to the other side. There's also a lot of very tricky enemies in this castle, I have to say. Some of them are actually pretty annoying. There's one enemy that actually takes two hits to kill, and it like bum rushes you as soon as you like enter its sights, which is pretty annoying. I think we'll be seeing that enemy here in a little bit. There's also these like flying little pinwheel things that kind of annoy and try to prevent you from progressing very far. Okay, here are the enemies I was talking about right here. Eh, that's not gonna work. They become a lot easier to deal with once you have the Kunai of Severe Cold. Ah, jeez. Okay, just die. Okay, I climb up this ladder. <clears throat> before we go any farther, I am gonna grab a fortune doll before I move on. Because I believe if you just go around this corner over here, without falling off, you don't want to fall off, of course. But yep, here it is, over here. And there is actually uh, one more fortune doll that you can also get in this temple as well. But you actually can't get it until you have uh, Sasuke's uh, super ability. And that's actually the last super ability you get. And if you couldn't tell, we only have one super ability as it is. So it's going to be a while before we get that. That's like closer to the end of the game. Like, I think you actually get it right before the final dungeon. So yeah, that just gives you an idea of how far off getting that fortune doll will be. I will point it out, though, for where it is, though, just in case there's, like, someone who has played this game and they're trying to figure out how to get there and whatever. Okay, which room do I go in next? Because I have to get over here. There's a silver key right there. I think I've actually just go through here. Okay, yeah. Oh, jeez. Die. Leave me alone. <clears throat> okay, this part right here is actually pretty annoying. Well, not really. Never mind. We have to find the right platform to get on. Because, um... Some of the jumps of those platforms won't actually get you all the way there. Have to make a lot of good jumps. Like, um... Oh, jeez. No. <laughs> yeah, I probably wasn't going to make that jump, so I'm glad I... Oh, jeez. Dang it. Well, that's what I was talking about. You don't really know where to jump from. You kind of have to guess and do a little trial by error type of thing. Okay, I think this one... Oh, wait, no, that one. Okay, this one will actually take me all the way there. Or close to there, anyway. There we go. Gotta just find the right platform to use, I guess. And with that... Wait, did we get the key? I thought we did. Yeah, I think we got the key. Yeah, I did. What am I thinking? I know I got the key, because I saw myself get it. Just a little momentary lapse right there, I guess you could say. And have to use Goemon to get over to the other side. Yeah, 
These enemies right here are actually pretty easy to deal with if you have the chain pipe. Or that you should have the chain pipe. I guess that's kind of a stupid thing to say. Considering it's the first item you get. You'd have to have it by this point. But yeah, what I was talking about earlier, how you have to do a lot of backtracking. Here's the golden door, where you need the gold key. And you don't get the gold key until, like, later on, like at the beginning of the temple, where we saw that one room with the hot platforms. So that kind of gives you an idea of how long we'll be waiting before we can get that. And before I go in that door, let's go over here. Or wait, maybe Ellie climbs in a different room. I thought he was in one of these first rooms, though. Actually, no, I know where he is. I know where he is. He's in this room. Okay, yeah, that's right. Okay, there he is, Mr. Elephant. <clears throat> and I'll go ahead and switch back to Sasuke, because this is technically his temple, I guess you could say. And there we go, we enter this door. And I believe we're in the south part of the temple? Oh no, the west part of the temple. Uh, but yeah, there's like four different parts of the temple, and that's how you kind of make your way around. I believe the uh, northern part of the temple is where the boss is located. And I'll go ahead and show this off, even though this is probably not something that you should really even waste your time with, but... Since I am kind of, you know, showing where all these locations are, I might as well. But if you uh, follow this rooftop all the way along, you'll get to the other rooftop, which will actually give you a surprise pack. Which, as you know, I haven't even died once in this playthrough yet, so... I probably don't even need to collect any of them, but... Still, I, I like to show where things are. Just because I'm awesome like that. Surprise, Pack! <clears throat> anyway, if we go over here... In this room, I think we actually get Sasuke's dungeon item. Yes, we do. Okay. He's at the other end of this room, so we have to make our way all the way across here. And this is also the room where you get that uh, fortune doll that you need Sasuke's ability to get. Kunai of Severe Cold. This allows you to temporarily stop flames coming from the fox or cool down hot floors. By continuously holding down the B button and then letting go, the Kunai Intense Hail Beam can be shot, in which the kunai will fly in three directions. So that is how that works. And uh, the fortune doll is actually on the other side of this room, kind of in that platform over there. But as you can see, the gate is too um, high to cross, so yeah, we can't get that just yet, unfortunately. We'll come back later, though. We'll come back later. And we actually have a second dungeon item, but this dungeon item right here is actually completely pointless. You don't need to collect it to beat the game. It's kind of just, you know, a unique little item you can get if you find it. Basically, go in this room right here. Oh wait, this is Mr. Arrow. Oh, well, we'll get Mr. Arrow, too. So now we can see where the boss is located. Which, as I already said, was on the northern part of the castle. But anyway, over here... I believe in this door. 
I was wrong. And this door... Okay, I was still kind of wrong. But in this door, definitely. There it is. It's over here on this little platform over here. Now, when I was younger, I thought you had to actually fr uh, freeze these platforms, which you do. But you don't actually use them to get up here. You just... Wait, wrong side. You just climb up over here, and you get... Abyssumaru's Meat Saw Hammer. This can change any item that appears after beating an enemy into a dumpling or restore strength. So, it's a very helpful item. It's just not required to beat the game. So, in a way, it's pretty useless, but if you're running low on health, it's a good item you can use to kind of, you know, restore your health. So, I gotta give it some credit, I guess. Let's see how it works. This is not a good enemy to showcase this to. But, basically, the chances of dumplings dropping from enemies is actually a lot greater whenever you use the... Meat saw hammer. It doesn't appear every time, but it definitely does appear most of the time. So that is one good thing you could say about it. And you can also use it against these barrels too. Okay, there we go, full health. But now that we have the Kanai of Severe Cold, we can actually go back to the beginning of the dungeon. And then make our way to finding the Gold Key, which will actually take us farther into the temple. We do have to do a lot of backtracking, though. Backtracking. You gotta either love it, or love to hate it. Although it's more the last, the latter than the former. I'll switch back to Sasuke. And fall down a hole. Okay, let's do that again with less falling into holes. But yeah, those cactus things right there, that'd be a good uh, enemy to use the meat saw hammer on if you need some help. Basically, any enemy that doesn't take more than two hits to destroy. Or, I mean, takes only one hit to destroy. Like these guys. Haha, <laughs> I froze you. <clears throat> okay, so we're at the beginning of the temple again. Which means we can go this way again and get almost squashed by that giant foot. Or whatever. What, what are these things? can't really tell, because you don't have a uh, see-up button where you can kind of go into a first-person view. Which is kind of weird, because you see those a lot in games like these, but... Apparently not in this one. Okay, so there we go. That was a crappy jump. That was a very, very crappy jump. Okay, that was too. That, that was stupid. I don't know why I did that. Wait, can I make that? No, I can't. Okay, that's fine. It would have probably took longer to wait anyway. And that still probably won't be enough. Okay. Okay. Why am I sucking so much? <laughs> I didn't even mean to hit that enemy, but I did anyway. Okay, I'll just go over here. Okay, why can I not make that jump? I made it before. Maybe I'll wait till it's like right in front of me or something. Okay, there we go, finally. That only took like five bajillion years to cross. 